Greetings everyone, I'll be showing you a few tips which will help you optimize your windows. But before that, I must say that uh, the first of all, when the Windows 10 got released, it had a really a lot of bugs. And also I kind of find few bugs in these new releases as well. Oh, and uh, before I begin, I also must apologize for my bad English. Sometimes I'll be misusing some words, and I hope you'll understand everything clearly. And I'll be also talking a bit loud, so you could uh, hear everything clearly. Also, as for the Windows, well, this is kind of weird. The Windows 10 is really weird, because as for the Windows uh, 7 and Windows 8 and 8.1, they were kind of really optimized, and... Uh, they're not using unnecessary processes or programs which are interfering with the Windows. But in Windows 10, I kind of see it like a combination of Windows uh, 7 and 8.1. Because there are a lot of tasks, not only tasks, but also special sections of the Windows, which, well, it's kind of funny when you find it in the start and settings and also in the control panel as well. So basically, as uh, far as I've been watching Windows, uh, uh, all the updates they're going through, they're trying to remove these functions from the control panel and add it to the uh, settings menu. So, let's begin. Well, the basics, basics, let's start with the basics. The basics will be, well, you but this is a fresh window, so I don't have anything installed, just VLC Player, OBS, and Google Chrome. Uh, well, I started recording because I don't want any unnecessary programs at start. Well, I hope I won't need anything else as well. First of all, well, uh, when you're using Windows 10, you should remove all the unnecessary apps, that's the basics of it. And as for the programs and special tasks, and etc. Let's try with, so, uh, I mean, start with task manager. Well, most of you, uh, you always already know probably that you have to clean up the startup there because the Windows is using a very, very a lot of unnecessary tasks. No, for example, you can always leave the Bin Defender alone because, no, a Bin Defender is uh, not bad actually, it kind of keeps tracking. Uh, simple viruses but for the best experience probably would be for example like Bitdefender or the Kaspersky antivirus but I'll just stick with Bitdefender uh, I mean the Windows Defender and surely I'm gonna disable Microsoft OneDrive also keep track of your services uh, startup because there will be a lot of services when you install fresh programs so watch all of them also, for example, yes, the OBS is taking uh, some percent, I'm recording with OBS Studio, so, but uh, as I noticed on my laptop, when I wasn't running any services uh, and any programs, I noticed some of the useless applications and processes running on the Windows, well, 15% is normal, uh, because the OBS is taking this kind of memory right now, but as you can see, disk is kind of... Uh, loaded 23% and what is process development service yeah as you can see there you might find some unnecessary uh, programs running as for the OneDrive and this task forever okay first of all well you need to have a first run but if you don't first run oh never mind you can always replace your HDD with SSD never mind that as well if you don't have it but first of all you need to update all the drivers because these updates have a basic and common fixes actually you have to find the device manager you can uh, search it uh, in the start menu in the search and you can basically update some of the drivers like right clicking then and update driver for example i'm upgrading now display adapters well as Search for the updater from Windows Update. I also installed all the updates because some of the updates actually has fixes. But I need to warn you that when you update your Windows and already optimize everything, be careful. You might uh, should have to disable the updates if you're not planning to do the same things again. 
because when I optimize my windows I notice that after the update I have to optimize everything again as well so let's get back to the main part for example some unnecessary services you have to uh, type services in the search bar and in the services I notice a lot of useless services here running well I might not uh, actually remember most of them but I'll try to remember which I can for example if you're not planning to use Xbox Live, I recommend to disable these services uh, running unnecessary, taking resources, and etc. Just right click on them, properties, menu, startup type, you have to just disable it. But be very, very careful what you're disabling because your system might get laggy or some processes will stop working because some of them are looking, uh, working like macros for example without one process second process can't run so still be careful access is denied now well, some of the processes as we can see are blocked through administrator oh well we can leave this alone game monitoring manual trigger okay xbox accessory management services disable okay that's one also we have such kind of process there are some little sensor processors if you don't have any sensors you can always disable them you can always read in the description what they actually do well some of them are very clear but some of them are uh, kind of not so clear do that are from variety of sensors do we have a sensor here i don't think so so i'm going to disable this as well sensor monitoring series Okay, what does it do? Okay, uh, this is uh, adjusting your brightness. Display I will not adapt lighting color. Well, I don't actually need this. I prefer to set brightness manually. Sensor service. Sensor for services, uh, functional manager, simple devices, orientation, SDO, history for sale, load, the SDO. Okay, we should leave that one alone. Because this is the, basically the sensor which detects heat temperature and etc. Well, I'm still leaving some sensors on. Okay, what's the next process? There is this kind of weird process. It starts with DM. DM WAP push something something. WAP push message routing service. Basically, this is a very funny thing because it's like a keylogger for Microsoft. Everything you do is sent to Microsoft so I'm going to disable this as well also we have diagnosis services let's say diagnosis policy service let's see diagnosis policy service enables problem detection troubleshooting resolution for Windows compact blah 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 etc you can uh, leave it alone or you can disable it because basically I always know what to find and what kind of problems I have in my window so it's up to you if you want to disable it or leave it alone well maybe I will leave it alone still just in case uh, there should be also a tracking service for diagnosis but I think uh, it was removed Yes, it was removed in the new patches, or it might have been renamed. That's the problem as well with the updates. If the system gets an update, you have, they remove some processes or rename them, so they are very hard to find. We don't use faxes, so we can disable the fax service. Apply, okay. Also, there is uh, hyper something something hyper with data exchange shares. To exchange data between virtual machines, the operator running is a physical computer. If you're not going to use any virtual machines and communication services and etc., you should disable all of them. Basically, this kind of function is used by the call center or this kind of jobs. Well, this is like the window has say it's well for external connections we use teamweaver right this is the built-in service for the microsoft so i'm going to disable all of them 
And you also all will be amazed what kind of process I will disable after this. Okay, almost done. And the last one. And done. Apply. Okay. The next one is for your amazement. Where is it? Oh, it was renamed. Then we have to find the renamed version. Windows search. <laughs> You're probably wondering why. Well, this is an automatic process. You can still use service. For example, I'm searching OBS, right? OBS. Yeah, it's fine. Basically, this is like a helper of the Cortana. You can also disable updates if you prefer. Well, this time I will leave the updates alone, but I recommend to disable Windows Search and, of course, stop it. Stopped it. Let's try it again. OBS. See? We can find everything we want. This is like a helper for Cortana. I don't actually use this. Also, there is a Microsoft process, one of the process, Windows SMS router service. Do you use SMSs? I personally don't, so I'll disable. I don't use any SMSs on Microsoft computers, so this is basically for the, uh, the tablets or small computers and etc. which have the SIM card enabled. There are also several kind of processes here, but I kinda forgot which one of them was here. Once I discovered the process, which was checking if your Windows is ready to install Windows 10, but it's already Windows 10 installed here, so this is kind of weird. That's one. Also, we can uh, save some space if you have a really low SSD. For example, I have 125 GB of SSD, but there are special files called the page assist file and uh, the hibernation file page uh, something something to forgot its name i'm going to disable that comment if you're not going to use hibernation probably you won't need it it takes like if i remember correctly about 10 gigabytes so the command for it is power cfg then minus h and off. Unexpected that a function failed during exec execution. Oh, this is weird. Okay, power CFG minus H and off. Hmm. I probably didn't run it in administration mode. Sorry. Run as administrator. Power CFG minus H and off. Yes, I didn't run it in administration mode, that's why I didn't disable. After the restart, there should... Oh, it didn't even need the restart. It already appeared the 2 gigabytes here. Also, there is a, one interesting thing. Right click on the, this PC, properties, advanced system settings, and there is a special file called the pages file which is located in the advanced tab performance settings advanced <coughs> sorry so what does this uh, page this uh, file do well this is like a virtual ram for example if you are out of the physical ram computer is uh, using virtual ram for help the physical ram to work faster it's up to you if you want to disable or to use it. But I have this kind of uh, thing. Well, if you have a large SSD, you can use it, but you can also use the other drive. For example, I'll probably use the some storage from the local D drive. Let's choose local D. Custom size from, let's say, 10. Alright, 10,000 megabytes to, let's see, 15,000, 1, 2, 3, 
and let's set it okay I'll disable disable page file initial size to less than uh, Windows might not record details, da, 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 etc. Now uh, it's a basic warning that Windows won't do anything, blah 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 blah, and etc. No worries, I'll use some from the D, D drive. Okay. Yes. So, let's check it. This PC. Refresh. Oh, some of the large files are still hidden there. Well, I'll... One moment. Background processes, programs, schedule, best performance, programs. Better for forms, okay. And, okay, let's check. See, difference might not appear immediately, but probably it already has, because the space right now that is used is just for the Windows files. Let's check something like 18 gigabytes. Yeah, it's for the Windows files and etc. Also, there is one more setting in advanced system settings performance. For example, you you can see the smooth animation here, right? You can also disable this, but basically this doesn't give you any much of a change in the performance. It's basically for the very slow laptops, but you can still disable them. For example, the notification bar will uh, open faster and etc. Uh, minimal stuff. Let's just say adjust for best performance and I'll change a few things like what should we use? Well, I don't need much of the animations, but I do need something about the test, save test by thumbnail previews, slide tool tips into review and etc. So which one do I need? Let's say enable pick show shadows under mouse point pointer show shadows under windows show thumbnails instead of icons yeah we need this to have a better view of the programs unless it won't have any icons at all show translucent selection rectangle yeah this too show window content while dragging yeah why not well this is the this animation while moving smooth edges uh, yes uh, we need these fonts because uh, some fonts are looking very jittery if you disable this setting smooth scroll list boxes well we can enable this so I um, want to talk about uh, this function here okay you see the smooth animation but if you change that basically everything will be gone and you can only see the moving window but uh, just for the visual purposes, I'll still enable it. Not a bad function, actually. Also, you need to clean your PC from a lot of junk. But before we go to the junk, there are also various other tweaks. For example, well, I can't restart it right now, but in the boot of menu, you can actually use fast boot of for example for your windows to start up faster and also there are a lot of other things like let's go into the control panel which was uh, removed I don't know why but actually we can find it still in the settings I mean the search okay let's go into the system and security let's use power options but before I went to the power options the animation I was talking about it rightly appears and disappears I prefer it this way instead of balance I always choose high performance change plan settings you can also change few things now well, we can let the display off in 15 minutes or so change advanced power settings there are also very interesting things here like if your computer will sleep some for example the drive turn off or some other parts turn off while your computer is um, idle well basically I'm not touching uh, almost anything here well for example turn off hard disk after 20 minutes 
Well, it's up to you what do you want to do. For example, if you're transferring files, you should set this to maximum amount. Like, uh, I don't know, 5 hours, 6 hours, etc. How, how much you prefer. Okay. Well, there is nothing else to be changed here. Also, uh, the motherboard. If the motherboard has an option, there are a few other tweaks in the motherboard BIOS settings. Well, it's up to you to find out because I can't uh, say it by heart what kind of functions are there. There are also a few other tweaks like start settings. And I'll look into every kind of service here. For example, let's go into the system. Display. Well, in the display, I'm not touching anything. Everything stays as is. I'm only disabling night light. I don't need that. Notification actions. Well, it's a good thing if you disable. It uh, will help your Windows to think faster because uh, you don't need any kind of this kind of notifications. Tips, tricks, suggestions uh, as you use Windows. No, thank you. Show me Windows welcome experience after updates and, and, and I don't need this kind of thing. So basically Windows is loading very slowly. Well, this is basically this is it in here. Power and sleep. When you plug in, turn off after. Wow, well, this is very fun to think. When plugged in. This is a desktop, so why is saying when plugged in? Never. Oh, it's the screen. That's why. But still. The translation is very bad. Okay, additional power settings so basically is going to the you know, control panel power options. That's the weird thing that, as I said it before. For example, so you have a control panel as settings together. Why? Storage! Well, just for the, I don't need to change anything in this storage. Tablet mode! Hide apps on the Tasman tablet mode. I don't even use tablet mode. Multitasking is up to you if you want to use it or not. If you disable it, it uh, will make your computer faster because it uh, doesn't save anything in the multitasking menu. Project to the PC. Projecting to the PC, sorry. I don't have a projector, so it's not even recommending me. Shared experience. Other devices I met between them and invite others to use apps with me. That's an interesting faction, but do I need it? I don't. About. And ah, this is name of the PC, blah blah blah, etc. Next, devices. Well, if you don't use any additional devices, I recommend you to turn on top. But I use Bluetooth actually for mouse and stuff like that. And wireless uh, headphones and etc. Printers and scanners. Let me Windows manage my default printer. Well, you can turn it off, it doesn't change anything. Mouse, doesn't change anything. Typing, I don't actually need this. Or do I? It's up to you. I kinda don't use it much, but we can still pick it on. App suggestions, no thank you. Auto play, up to you. What to do with the folders and etc. USB. Not fine if there are issues connecting your thing. No, that's a good thing, so actually it's stay on. Networking status, nothing to change. Ethernet, nothing to change, actually. Dial up, we don't even use it, so it's turned off. VPN, it's up to you. Airplane mode, up to you. I don't use it, and I don't have a SIM card PC, so. Prox, nothing here. Personalization, apps, I kind of don't remember what was in the personalization. Oh, the basic task. Colors, lock screen, themes, there are a few functions if you want to disable. Desktop icon settings, I turn, turn down the computer to easily go into the, my computer. That's your choice. Start! So, show apps list in the start menu. Well, it's up to you if you want to see these apps or not. But personally, I like to disable a few things here. O occasionally show suggestions. No, thank you. Open item jump list on starting in the taskbar. No, thank you. 
and also I kind of removing these applications or just placing and closing making it smaller and etc it's up to you if you use these applications you can make it stay like that or you can unpin uh, absolutely everything well it will make a bit faster your computer because he's not constantly searching in the internet to find some news and etc for example this well, I actually want the weather I don't need CNN I don't need Sky for period I don't need Microsoft Edge I don't need store if I want it I'll just find it in the search what's this draw board PDF no I don't need this no games no 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 we won't be even using it I'll just, I, I'm always just typing calculator to find it now we can make calendar thing for example but I don't need anything else well like this okay Next taskbar, well, if you want to lock taskbar or not lock the taskbar, uh, no, nothing to change here actually. Apps, well, apps and features, well, this is default apps. I'm only changing default apps because I don't use the Switch, I don't use the Microsoft Edge video player, VLC as default, I don't uh, use any other stuff. What of your well the default photos? Music player, also we'll see. Google Maps, email. Well, I prefer it to open Google Chrome, for example. Well, nothing else here. Offline maps, don't use it. Apps or website, don't use it. Accounts, well, if you want to change something on the account, I don't need to change anything. Time and language, it's up to you to set your of these settings. Gaming, actually they added a new interesting thing here. I don't use Xbox Lite, I don't I won't be recording with Xbox Lite, so I'll just turn these functions off. No, no. And if there are any other functions, just turn it off. Game DVR. There are more, it's off. Sorry your PC, good. Broadcasting, good, it's turned off. And game mode. Well, you can actually turn this on, use game mode. So, what's the game mode? Well, the game mode is a simple task, and which is uh, quite actually useful. For example, uh, oh, I also need to check how long is my video going. Uh, probably it will be a long video. For example, game mode is something like this. If you're running a game, the computer will just uh, lock your frame rate. For example, if a program uses some of your resources, your frame rate might drop, but with this setting on, your PC will try to save the FPS you're using in the game. So, let's turn it on. Easy access. Well, there are some interesting and unuseful stuff here, like narrators and stuff like that. No, I don't need this kind of stuff. High contrast, no. Close option, keyboard, mouse, others. Nothing to change here, actually. But there are a few things to change in the privacy, like let apps use advertising ID to make ads more interesting to you. I don't need ads, but they will either way recommend you, so this setting won't change anything. Provide the locally relevant content by accessing my language lay Sure, let Windows Track app launches to improve start on search results. I don't need this, I don't need tracking. Location, turn off your location based services, basically only Microsoft products are using this. Notifications, access my notifications, no. Speech, inking, typing is turned off, so we don't need it. Where were we? Account info, I access my name, picture, and other account information. Why? No, this is a private. Content, let access my contacts. Uh, no. And I don't basically use calendar. Let apps access my calendar. Uh, no. Basically, these functions are useless. You just will be checking calendar, no? So, why do I need all of this? Access my call history. No. We won't make any calls. Email. No. Tasks. It's up to you. 
uh, if your applications well, if you want to your applications to access the tasks yes or no it's up to you to choose no messaging no radios no other devices Automatically share and syncing for wireless devices that don't uh, pair with your PC, tablet, or phone. No. Feedback. Diagnosis. Oh, of course, turn it off. If it has a function to turn it off. Unfortunately, it doesn't. You should ask for my feedback. Never ask for my feedback. I don't like this feedback stuff. Background apps, of course, uh, turn it off because there will be a lot of background apps running. Well, you can actually turn off one or two, like the Windows Defender Security Center to detect basic stuff. You will still see the calendar here. So, for example, uh, I mean the weather, for example, it's turned on, but it's not running in the background. You just press it and see everything you want to see. That's about it. App diagnose, let apps access diagnosing it. No. That's about it. That's as for the settings. The update, you have to choose if you want to disable. You can disable it from the services as well. Defender, backup, troubleshoot, recover, activation, and etc. and etc. Okay, some other tips. For example, the annoying function I have here. The spacing between the icons, not only the icons, well, I'll just make a bit, them a bit slower, smaller, and also there is a minimum spacing here. If you want to disable this spacing, you can change it with, there was actually a special function in the windows, but they removed it. I don't know why did they remove it. But right now you can change it settings from uh, what's called again? Oh yeah, the registry, registry, or dp edit, dp edit. Dot ms. No, sorry, this was the wrong function. Just type in registry. What? Okay, then reg edit. Reg edit. Okay, it was, as far as I remember, it was current user. Uh, it was either system, well, or control panel. Let's go to control panel. And there should be a desktop. And there should be Windows metrics. Yeah, here. Yeah. It's called icon spacing. Here. Yeah. It, ha it says minus 125, but don't adjust it too highly. For example, my recommendation will be minus 10. So it will be 15. But you have to restart computer the, the changes to make an effect. But this is an icon spacing, and there is also icon vertical spacing. So if you want uh, vertically to have changes in the spacing. So 15. 15. Okay. Oh, well, that's about it for this part. What else you can do? There are a lot of gadgets, programs, utilities, and etc. I already told you about the updates. Let's talk about a few programs like CC Cleaner. Yeah, you always have to clean your junk. Well, there are a lot of kind of junk in the computers. The first one is registries when you delete a program, for example. Also, I'm going to show you a few other stuff here. Tools Utilities. Yeah, it's a very funny name. It's called the PC Decrapify if you have crap in your computer. <laughs> yeah, it's called like this. Also, we have ADV Cleaner. You have AD Viruses. Actually, I really love this program. It was made by uh, some other company, but then it was bought my by my favorite company called the malware bytes and this is a very decent antivirus actually I'll probably install that later 
So that's about it. There are also other diagnoses, cleaning programs, but my recommendation would be not to use any unnecessary stuff. For example, never up update drivers with special utility update programs. You ruin your computers. You will have a lot of bugs. So please don't. Thanks for your attention. Sorry for the long video. But I hope it was helpful to you guys. And if you really liked it, please like, subscribe, and I'll be adding some other kind of videos. So I'll be streaming games, adding some life hacks, adding some uh, optimizations for various programs, not only programs, but generally Windows and etc. Thank you for your attention and goodbye.